Max traffic clear fight. These girls are some of my closest friends. We've, we've been through a lot together. All three of them were in my wedding. Bridesmaids, but teammates first. Jennifer Davidson jumps on an all-women's four-way skydiving team for the Army's Golden Knights. She and her teammates compete all around the globe. It's exciting and it's adventurous, and I'm always kind of drawn to stuff like that. But soaring wasn't always her passion. Davidson tried skydiving on a whim just for fun at 18, right after she joined the Army and became a medic. I was just, uh, just ready to get out there and, and do some cool stuff. Wow. Davidson's love for the sport and commitment to her team in the sky and on the ground hasn't gone unnoticed. We're looking for agile and adaptive leaders, and that doesn't mean it has to be a man. Command Sergeant Major Thomas Holland says Davidson is a model soldier. She's an exceptional leader, exceptional role model. It's a time when a woman's role in the military is rapidly changing and reaching new heights. Holland says Davidson is the proof. It's a long time coming, and I'm proud to say that, you know, we have role models on our team that could, that could stand out and say, hey, look what we're doing in a men-dominated sport. And we're not just, you know, here, but we're competing and we're winning. It shouldn't be about having to prove myself. Like, I just want to be taken seriously on my own right and not have to um, be like, oh, yeah, she's good for a girl. I want to just be able to just, oh, yeah, she's good. And she's done just that. From the Lorenberg Maxton Airport, Catherine DGC, Time Warner Cable News. Is this for a mailbag? Simple things like coffee. This is a free meal. Useful things like stationery. Go ahead and drop one of those in there too. And pretty things like this necklace. It says hope. These bags are filled and hand delivered to the silent ranks. To open a box um, that has a message from somebody who does not know who you are and does not know the struggles that you're going through, it that that little ray of sunshine peeks through when you, when you get something and somebody says, hey, thank you for what you do. And Marissa Bellotto Wentling would know her soldier husband returned from his third deployment a few weeks ago. You cry about it, Facebook about it, you Twitter about it, you Instagram about it, and then when at the end of that year or the end of the deployment or the end of the three years at a duty station, you look back and think, I didn't hate it. I learned something from it. Handwritten notes from strangers have given her strength. Emily Mintz, if you're out there, thank you. And now she's paying it forward. We hear so much about camaraderie, yes. soldiers camaraderie, but I know yes. just from talking to you, Marissa, mm -hmm. that there's so that's a, a powerful thing for you too. So it does this help? You get put in this category sometimes that you're not prepared for or a lifestyle that you're not prepared for, and it just takes one person to be able to say, hey, listen, it's, it's not gonna be easy, um, but we're gonna do it together. It's more of a friendship. It's, um, you become sisters. You have to, you have to rely on each other. This is for you. Sisters help sisters. Marissa and Janie say their strength comes from spreading a little joy. I feel like it's my birthday. To other military spouses like Lisa Green. You guys are gonna make me cry. Her husband is on his seventh rotation right now. We have a graduation coming up. <laughs> and he's not gonna be there for, for one of our daughters. I've been there, I know what it's like to be alone, to have small kids and not have anybody there to help me. So I wanna make sure that everybody else around me gets that support. <laughs> on Fort Bragg, Catherine DeGC, Time Warner Cable Thank News. You. Thank you.